All right, this is a non-technical tip. Before you go out and do a show, what you need to do is dust the equipment off. Take a look at this right here. Look at how much dust came off on that. Now, this is a smaller board that we use here in the shop area, so really, I'm not, I don't care really how it looks because it really doesn't go out anymore. And if I need to do a show with a small board, I take the personas. So just take a moment and wipe your equipment down because if you show up at an event with you, when you got a bunch of dust on the gear, we're looking like this. Look at all that dust. To maintain a professional image, you've got to keep stuff clean. So even the trunk like this, which is what the customer is probably not going to see and the bands are not going to see, stuff like this still needs to be cleaned up. Now if you notice in here the dish cups in here, yeah, they're full of debris and stuff like that and dust. It is sort of a mess. And really, to maintain a professional image, you need to keep the equipment looking as professional as possible. Now with all the COVID-19 stuff that's been going on and everything's been shut down for about a year and a half, a lot of this stuff has sat around. So before you go out to a show, make sure you wipe all your gear down. You don't want to show up at some place with all this crud and crap. Even with powered speakers, you're going to have a lot of dust and debris that collects on the back of it. So just spend the extra, a little bit extra time just to go through and make sure your stuff is dusted, cleaned out, wiped down. Because really, people do see it. Okay, here, after the, um, after the cleaner dried. Okay, so I wiped this down, got a lot of the dust off of it. If you can see some of these uh, marks right here, there's like a white mark there, there's a white mark right here. That could be like maybe a slight mineral deposit from water uh, because the, the surface here is not smooth like it is on glass, so it can hold a lot of um, debris that's in it, especially from liquids. Now this is just the uh, top of the case of a uh, mixer, which nobody's really going to see that except if they happen to be there during the load in, as well as the load out. But still, you want to try to keep this stuff picked up, cleaned up, because it shows that you respect the equipment and you respect uh, your customers. All right, that looks a bit better. We could probably go with that. Okay, back on this board, I think um, you saw how bad it was before. If I move a towel down here, look at that. Look at this right up here, you can really tell. Yeah, this thing is really dusty. Now, dust is not your friend, and it can cause a lot of problems with consoles but also it depends upon uh, if you will maybe the quality of the console so let me move this over here a little bit I'm gonna tilt it up so you can see it all right the if you can tell right here the XLR openings as well as the quarter inch here do you notice these things 
are pointing straight up. So when this console is laying flat, dust is getting down into these holes. And this is what causes a lot of the um, static that you may hear, like when you're moving a connector in and out of it, moving something in and out, you'll get static. And also, if we look down here on the faders, I'm not sure how tight I can get in on that. If you look down here at the faders, as you notice, there is no dust guard in these fader slots. So when this console sitting here uncovered, all the dust that you see on here has made its way down into here. And this also is what causes a lot of static and noise when you're moving a fader and you hear that grinding, uh, you heard a bunch of static. That's also part of what causes that. Now, this little mixer wasn't too expensive, uh, but it also, I mean, it, it sounds okay. It sounds good for, for what we use it for, but the biggest problem here is that it just does not have anything in here to protect it from the dust. The EQ is the same way. All right, now let's compare that with another console. So looking at the back of a the Persona 1642, as you notice, all the inputs are pretty much at an angle. Uh, dust intrusion, when it's sitting back at this angle, is is it's very, very minimal, if anything. All right, so looking at the uh, fader, ray fader here, there is no dust cover in the fader slot. Now there is what looks like to be uh, maybe a guard or something of that nature that's sitting below the surface, but the fact is that dust can still get inside there. This is why it's very important that you keep your consoles covered to keep the dust out of it. From looking at the Mackie, you can tell how dusty it was on top of it, but keeping stuff covered like we always have a cover for this, pardon me, a case for this Personas. Uh, the dust that's on it is very, very minimal, if anything. Uh, we do occasionally wipe it down, but we still have the problem here with uh, dust potentially getting inside the faders. So looking at a Persona Studio Live, this is Series 3. You can't really tell here because it is blacked out, but there is a black, almost like a felt kind of material that runs down the middle of this. You can just sort of barely see it. That is a dust cover. This board, the Studio Live board, Series 3, all, the, all of the fader slots are protected uh, by its own little like dust covers in it. Well, we've got to work on getting this thing clean. So, remember, keep your stuff clean, make it presentable, look professional. Thanks for watching.